I'm Anthony Dean. I am the art director here at LifePoint and work full-time as a designer, videographer, and help coach and direct impact leaders throughout the week to help create this visual environment that we get to see here at LifePoint. Uh, most people probably know me as this super colorful, energetic, and enthusiastic guy. Um, at least that's how I hope people see me. Um, but there was a season of my life when I was the complete opposite. Um, I graduated college in 2017 and at the time was in a pretty committed relationship for four years. Um, now we were both believers, uh, but God definitely wasn't the center of our relationship. Um, I can't speak for her, but God wasn't even the center of my life because I didn't really know what that meant or what that really looked like. In my mind, she was the one. I felt like all we ever talked about was marriage. <laughs> um, so as soon as I graduated college and started freelance work, um, I started an engagement ring fund that I told her about and was kind of planning to propose to her by February the following year. So a week after I started working full time, um, I got a text from her saying that we needed to talk. And that was when she told me that she wasn't in love with me anymore and that she doesn't think I'm the man she's supposed to marry. She told me it was nothing that I did or nothing that I didn't do, but it was what God had been telling her to do, which only confused me further. Eventually we said our goodbyes um, and she left. And I've never slammed a door in my life until that night. Um, I started screaming. Um, I started throwing things. I started punching things. Uh, somehow I remembered that I was supposed to have life group that night, um, but it was past midnight at this point. Um, but I called anyway um, and just asked if anyone was there. And uh, it was just two of them, but they said to come on over anyway. And then all of a sudden, someone else from life group showed up. And then another, <laughs> and then another. Uh, and I think it turned out to be about eight to ten of us that night, and we just ended up playing Cards Against Humanity until about 3 a.m. on a weekday when we all have work the next day. I didn't know at all what I needed that night. Um, but that turned out to be exactly what I needed. And unfortunately, uh, things only got worse for me. <laughs> and I started having mental breakdowns every other day at work. Um, I would either stare at my computer or sleep at my desk for hours at a time, even though it felt like only a few minutes went by. I was going through severe depression. Um, my breakdowns became so bad and so frequent that um, I had to sign a paper with HR in December of 2017 saying that if I don't get this issue solved, that it could end in the termination of my position. And then, um, after I signed those papers, on the night of New Year's Eve, um, I had a dream where I met her. I don't remember exactly what happened. I remember pulling a gun on myself, and I shot myself awake and out of my dream. I got into counseling in March of 2018 and went until about July of that year. And it was the best thing I've ever could have done for myself. But the other thing that kept me afloat this whole time was my life group. And every time I had a breakdown, um, I sent a group text to my life group saying, hey guys, having a rough day today. And immediately uh, they would respond saying, sorry man, you got this. Just finished praying for you. And I really felt that. Uh, eventually, I became healed through everything. Um, I learned how to forgive myself, how to forgive her, um, and learned how to actually make God number one in my life. Um, and I thank God for having my life group with me during the season of my life. I still struggle with seasonal depression and anxiety every now and then but I know I can count on my life group to pray for me and to surround me with love. And uh, I know you guys are all probably watching this the time this airs. So I will never forget what you guys did for me uh, and continue to do for me. 
and I love you all a lot.